Hello, long time no see. Man, I don't upload that often, but when I do, I fucking do. <laughs> does it even make sense? No, I don't think it does. Anyway, I wanted to make a video about polarizing too feminine or too masculine. Um, I, I feel that it is a central part of being a human being, whether you're on your spiritual path or you're a fucking sheeple. Um, whether you know it or not, you are constantly affected by the dualistic energies of the universe. Duality is a major influence on your life, whether you want to admit that or not. So, I mean, and you'll come to, to realize that you will find the most healing in the middle, in the zero point, when the triunion is created through the harmonic balance of the dualistic energies, the positive and negative charge, the masculine, the feminine charges. So we kind of use these energies to operate here and to learn and to grow. We are not, you know, it is not our, our totality per se. So I want to put, I want to preface this with that, that I know I'm not, you know, in my totality, only a man, you know, only masculine. Um, in fact, I have feminine energy too. I have estrogen. I have, <clears throat> I have all kinds of feminine traits. You know, I, I, there's, for example, there's a Birkeland current of energy running through the center of my body, through my nervous system and my endocrine system, interlapping and intertwining. And, and there's a positive and a negative charge to that. So, I mean, it's, there's so, I mean, there's a left and a right brain. We are literally, this human body is literally designed to experience those energies. It's pretty crazy. And then our consciousness just comes right down the middle. And it, and it comes through that zero point of the two coming together. I mean, we, we use this body like an astronaut suit. But anyway, <laughs> um, so polarizing too masculine, too feminine. Um, I looked at one of my videos from three years ago, yesterday, um, and it spurred up some emotions and some thoughts, and, uh, I could drastically tell a difference in my demeanor, in my voice, um, in everything, and I just want to explain what happened. So... The first time, let's just start from the beginning. The first time I became too feminine was in my 20s. I had gotten into a long-term relationship with someone that was overly masculine. And it started to affect the relationship in several ways. But slowly but surely, I became more feminine and she became more masculine. And the, the roles just... It was like, you know, like a pendulum swinging, like the energy just went one way and then the, the opposite energy went the other way. And we became polarized in these positions. And before we knew it, we started suffering greatly. Um, she lost respect for me um, as a man. And I just was not attracted to her at all. She was too masculine. And it because of codependency, we ended up staying together way longer than we should have. Okay, after that, after being too feminine, I then had to get my shit together. And, you know, you know, as a man, after a breakup, it's like you, you get a huge fucking fire lit under your ass and you just want to lift weights and make money. And, and it's like a blessing in disguise, really. Like the biggest leaps in my life have always been after a heartbreak, um, you know, so... It's true uh, transmutation or alchemy, man. It's a blessing in disguise if you let it be. But um, so <clears throat> I went too masculine. I started flipping cars, selling drugs, fucking got all jacked and fucking started taking hormones and shit. I became super masculine. And then I found a woman during that time and she fell in love with me and she was very masculine too. And, but slowly but surely 
I got off the hormones. I relapsed on heroin and fucking the energy started shifting again, just like before the woman became the man. And then I became the female and she, she lost respect for me. I didn't want to be around her. She was too manly. So it just another example of the polarization. We then broke up that lit a fire under my ass and broke my fucking heart like never before. And I did it again. I started lifting weights and I fucking got promoted at my job and I just started crushing it in life. And then she wanted me back, of course, but once I'm over someone, I'm over someone. But anyway, um, <laughs> that's when you could tell the shift on my channel and in my content. It was late 2019. So basically it was like something just snapped in me. It was like, I am too feminine. I need to be a man. So what had happened was that I, I became too feminine before this breakup. And that's when I had my Kundalini awakening and all the incredible shit. And there's a reason for that because I became more receptive being more polarized as feminine, more receptive and magnetic. I was able to, to download energy from the ether uh, much easier without, without a high test level of testosterone. Um, but my, my duties and abilities as a man suffered greatly in the physical plane. Like I, I was always tired, emotional, lethargic, you know, but I could go out of body and have these incredible experiences and downloads. And, and I brought in all that spiritual wisdom. That was the gift of polarizing to feminine at the time. Um, but like I said, my 3D life suffered greatly. But all, a lot of the, the good content, especially Plasma Warren 369 on Instagram, a lot of that was from being too feminine and bringing in all that information, that spiritual gnosis. And, and so I don't regret it. It was crucial for my spiritual development. Um, a reason why I became so feminine was because after I got off the hormones and I relapsed, during that relationship, my fucking T levels just crashed and it just, it was brutal, man. I had some depression, but I ended up having my Kundalini awakening and all these insane experiences. So, I mean, it wasn't that bad. I mean, it was necessary. Um, but I ended up after that breakup becoming really masculine again. And I've kind of stayed that way ever since. And I'm very aware that my content has kind of suffered. Like I, I give less fucks, let's just say. <laughs> um, and which is bullshit, be, I mean, but my 3D physical life is fucking, I've built a great foundation. So again, I think it was necessary, but I'm yearning for the spiritual receptive connection that I once had when I was polarized feminine. I, I need more of that in my life. And so it's, you know, it's just, it's finding balance and, I got into another relationship again and then we broke up and then I went even more masculine. So that's another thing is like, every time I get my heart broke, I like polarize more masculine as, I don't know if it's defense mechanism or what, but I'm just, I really want to balance out now and I'm, I'm doing that. I'm aware of what I need to do. And, but you know, you, you need to build your foundation first in the 3D. And that's what masculine energy specializes in is building and, and, you know, support, protection, all that fundamental stuff. And then once you build that foundation, you can bring in the feminine energy and bring in the spiritual downloads because that's what women are good at. I truly believe in my heart of hearts that that's how men and women work best together is the women are like the doorway to the spiritual because they're so magnetic and receptive. They can download information and they bring it in to the man. And then the man will build here on earth. And they, that's how they work together in tandem. And uh, I just feel it in my fucking bones. That's how it's supposed to be. And, you know, of course there can be shades of gray where men can be oracles too, or women can build shit too. But we have a template 
of roles that best work in this dimension. And that is women bring in, being magnetic and receptive, they bring in the downloads of spiritual wisdom, the Sophia, and then men can ground it out. You know what I mean? Take, use their positive charge to build, build it here on earth. And so, you know, electromagnetic, electric man, magnetic woman. So, but ultimately we are the neutral observer in the middle, of course. But uh, yeah, so that's where I'm at. I mean, think about it. Let me know in the comments, where do you think you are right now in your life? Are you in a relationship where the woman is doing all the work and you're kind of like the depressed, sad fucking beta male? <laughs> like I have been several times. Or is it the opposite? Um, do you have a receptive feminine woman? you know, that's, that's fucking flowing like she should be feeling protected and all that. And are you doing your job as a man and building and grounding and creating a safe space for her to relax her, you know, magnetic feminine energy, the level of, um, you know, or you, tell me where you're at. Let me know in the comments. Um, I'm really curious. I really think, though, because of energy, the way it works, we kind of just swing like a pendulum back and forth throughout our life. And the key is to keep letting the energy flow until it finds a neutral spot in the middle. You know, it stops going so hard and getting polarized in one spot for so long. That way, when it does that, you know, you get stuck in patterns and it's hard to break out of those cycles and patterns. But if you keep flowing and learning and growing from the experiences, eventually you'll balance out. And hopefully you won't be an old geezer by then. <laughs> um, I'm going to go um, to the gym and then I'm going to go visit my mama because I've been needing to do that. Um, I need some feminine energy in my life. I don't have enough of that. And that's another thing is that we all need the masculine feminine energy, whether we like to admit it or not. But uh, I love y'all. Happy Sunday. Still.